What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Percha Run in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun me movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, I'll put it below in the comment section of the video. And if you enjoy these and they get you thinking, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So Percha Run is the new Pokemon from the Scarlet and Violet epilogue that was just out uh, yesterday. And it is a poison and ghost type Pokemon, which is pretty interesting. So it has the ability Poison Puppeteer. So what this does, if a Pokemon poisons a target, the target also becomes confused too, which is uh, pretty good. That's going to increase its definite like stalling capacity. So looking at its base stats here, it has got an enormous defensive stat of 160 and a health stat of, 100, of 88. So that's not too bad uh, all across the board there with other 88s. It sort of reminds me a little bit of Toxapex you know, with that big ginormous uh, defensive stat. So this Pokemon plays quite stally, but it does have some other uh, offensive sort of sets. So I've come up with a few there. So what I'll do, we'll start with uh, some singles and we'll get into some doubles and then you know, some teammates and some other thoughts and some meme sets, stuff like that. So the first set I want to suggest here is going to be a, uh, a Venoshock Hex uh, tank set. So we've got Max Elf, uh and max defense EVs with bold nature. So we're going to be getting the most out of his defense. It's an, defense is absolutely insane, so it's very, very tanky. Um, I've given it leftovers. You could give it black sludge as well. It's sort of up to you whether you want to tear it or not. I don't know if I'd be tearing this Pokemon too much. It's more of like a stalling Pokemon. Um, there's a couple of good terrors, uh, more defensive terrors that you can run on it. My opinion i say fairy would be pretty good and another one would that would be good would be dark as well sort of just like getting around any of its super effective moves like you know like psychic and opposing dark type moves i feel like that works pretty nicely too and fairy is just a good type in general so you get around uh, a lot of other good stuff there too so I think that would be the best kind of defensive natures for it. If you've got any other ones you're using, let me know in the comment section. Always like to hear other people's opinions and stuff. So let's have a look at this. So we've got Venoshock and we've got Hex. So both these moves are reliant on the opponent being status. Uh, Venoshock specifically uh, Poison. So since we're running everything in bulkier and we're not going to be hitting very hard, um, these moves are going to be hitting a lot harder with its, um, you know, with its uh, opponent being poison, right? And we're also getting a confusion with poison puppeteer. So we've got Venoshock and Hex for both stab. We've got Toxic and we've got Recover. So it does get Recover. That's you know huge on this Pokemon. That's going to make its stalling capacity a lot better. Uh, there are a couple of different moves you could use on this as well. It does get some, uh, you know, some decent ones. If you're not really worried about doing Venoshock um, or Hex, you can go like Shadow Ball instead. I know, I just like, pretty much you're gonna poison the opponent, right? So I think the Hex is better because you're gonna get a double base power on, um, on that. Compared to Shadow Ball is a nice solid 80. But you're not really doing that much damage with it. So I would prefer to go Hex and get like um, double base power. So you've got like 130 base power after you poison them. And you're always going to be poisoning the opponent, right? And uh, with Venoshot, you've got the same thing too. So suddenly, uh, even though you don't have the greatest special attack uh, in the world, it's going to be hitting you know, reasonably hard. Uh, so you'll be able to, you know, you might be able to break substitutes and those sort of things. So Recover is just, you know, a general good move uh, there for sure. So that's how I would run uh, a defensive set. Let's have a look now at more of a toxic stalling set. This one is definitely more for singles as well. So it does get mean look, which is pretty cool. So I thought you could do this like mean look set, like trap the opponent with mean look, and then you could uh, poison them with its, uh, its signature move, uh, Malignant Chain. Now, what this move does is 100 base power, so you know good damage there, 100 actually, which is great too. And you've got a 50% chance of badly poisoning the target. So it's sort of like, basically it's like toxic, but you've got 100 base power instead, and it's only got 50% chance to actually happen. So a very, very good move for sure. Um, so you can sort of mix this up and be a little bit more offensive. And then once you've got a poison, you could go for hex as well for double base power. That is another option. So it's kind of similar to... Uh, the other set there. If you don't really care about that, you could or don't really care about mean look and you feel like that's a waste, 
Then you could do something like Parting Shot, which is a very good move too. Um, so you've got that, you can drop the attack, and special attack of uh, the opponent by a Pokemon by one. So you could Parting Shot and then bring it back in and recover. So yeah, that's another way of using. Uh, I've got Terra type Poison. It honestly, I I wouldn't probably Terra this. I. I I, I don't know, like, I feel like Terra isn't needed so much. You're probably better off on putting on another Pokemon. So I've got Poison and, and Black Sludge here. So, yeah, Terra Dark or Terra Fairy. If you're gonna if you're gonna tear it with a different uh, Terra type than Poison, give it leftovers. If you got you're gonna put leftovers on there, obviously you don't want to be damaging yourself with Black Sludge. But yeah, that's another way you could use it. So this is max health and max special defense, so more special defensive. So you can take those hits all around a little bit better. Um, compared to like this defensive wall here so you'll be able to at least tank uh, a special move so that's uh it's going to be very very tanky and annoying to get around with our toxic stalling you know, parting showing you're know, dropping stats of parting shot bringing it back in going for a cover and doing uh you know double base power of hex and poisoning as well plus poison pop d is going to 100 percent confuse them with the poison which you know it's going to happen a pretty good amount of time there um with its uh you know 50 percent chance or you could have Toxic. Like, Toxic's pretty good because you can 100% get that poison and then you get a Confuse. So you basically, you get a, a Poison and a Confusion right away, which is uh, pretty cool. The next idea you could do here is a Nasty Blot Sweeper. Now, I would be inclined to run this in Trick Room for sure, obviously. Um, you could probably... I, I did some speedier sets with it. You, you could try in a speedier, more a speedier. Actually, matter of fact, we'll go over both. So we've got a trick room here. So I've got room service as the item. So we're going to get that um, uh, one stage uh, drop in speed there um, when trick room is activated. And we've got quiet nature. So with um, 88 speed and quiet and zero, uh, it does hit a pretty slow Pokemon. So... I could definitely probably see that one working. Um, I've got this one like a more of an offensive set. So we've got max health and I've got max special attack, which is going to you know, work pretty nicely there. And I've got um, you know everything in special attack and, uh, and health there. So we want to hit hard as we can and we want to have much overall bulk as possible. So nasty plot. Um, we, when you've got the trick room up, you'll be able to actually use that. So you can use it. It's, it's going to be too difficult, I believe, using it outside of that. Uh, it's not that fast. Uh, so you got Nasty Plot. I gave it Terra Blast Dark, so you could have at least the move to use against Psychic Pokemon, but you could have uh, Shadow Ball too. Uh, I've got Malignant Chain uh, on top of that too, so just its main sort of stab moves, I think, could be uh, could be pretty cool. Another one you might be able to do, I was thinking too, could be Flying, because at least you could get around Ground-type moves. That could be an option, and then, you know, at least you know some of the other weaknesses would be neutral, so like Ghost moves and... Psychic moves, they would at least be neutral. So flying could be another one you could go for there. Um, just another alternative to Terra. But I don't know. I wouldn't. I, I probably wouldn't be tearing this Pokemon that much, in my opinion. Now, say if you're going for a more of a sweeping one. Let's just have a look here. So it, it's um okay. Let's go modest. So it's 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 just a, it's okay. It's nothing amazing. Um, if you really wanted to, you could go timid here, but it, you know, special attack is going to suffer a fair bit. So you probably have to get maybe you know, a couple of nasty plots. But you could uh, you could probably definitely go for that. So you go like timid nature, um, get rid of room service. I'd probably give it something like yeah, let's let's give it like life orb. Let's make a bulky. And if you came across like the right Pokemon. You could always recover your health back too. Like if you come across a Pokemon there, because you know with 160 base defense, if you come across something that's physical but can't do a lot to you, you might be able to set up nasty plots, heal up, and then attack them. So that could be a good way to um, see so if either got a stab poison or a stab ghost. So that's uh, that's an option. So you could go, you could go Terra Ghost, uh, Terra. You could go Terra Ghost. You could go Terra Poison. I don't know about Terra Poison though. Um, you could do that, but that's gonna that, it, that will draw out steel type Pokemon. Um, another one you might do if you're worried about, uh, like, I say steel types, you could drop recover and have Terra Blast. I, I'm just looking at like more of an offensive set here, so you could go for that Terra Blast um, because I feel like a steel type Pokemon would come into this for sure, and you know ground types would definitely be a uh, an issue too. That's why I suggested um, Terra Flying before. So. That's another way you could uh, you could actually run this, like a, a special attacker. But, man, it, it's, it's not the greatest in speed. So, 
you know, good luck if we're going to run into speed. I, I do outspeed a few things, but it's going to get outspeed by a lot of other things too. Let's have a look at some doubles here. So I've got, I've got a couple of double sets here that I'm going to break down. So we've got a, um, a, a sweeping set. So I thought it'd be cool to do a sweeping set. Now, this one we've got as modest nature. You could easily run this as trick room that I was just talking about then. So with room service, make it quiet nature. You know, max its health instead of maxing its speed, right? So... You could do uh, either one of them. Um, if you've got like Tailwind support from other Pokemon, then you don't have to worry about that. You're going to outspeed them. It could be good. So I've got Protect here. That's a great um, move there just for scouting. We've got Parting Shot, Shadow Ball, and I've got Malignant Chain. So Malignant Chain is going to be quite handy there for base damage and spreading poisons. Uh, I, I think just using Toxic is, is going to be like way too slow in doubles. It's, it's going to go way too fast for that. Um, so that's why I've given it Max Special Attack and Max uh, Speed, Modest Nature. And the item I've given it is Covert Cloak. So that's going to stop it from uh, any secondary effects, annoying stuff like fake out, flinching moves, you know, all that sort of stuff that uh, you know definitely could happen to Pertron um, because it's not exactly fast. So I, I, I guess this, 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 if you're just playing doubles or, or well, VGC whenever you know, they allow the uh, mythicals and things like that. So I've given this one Terra Type Dark. You could do that too. Um, just to get around Psychic and, uh, you know, other Ghost-type moves. And, you know, we've got Dark as well, too. So, at least that's, you know, it's going to be neutral and stuff like that. So, it's going to be pretty handy for uh, Petron. Now, the next set, I'm going to run as more of a supporting one. So, this is pretty... I, I, I thought this was pretty cool. So, we've got Max Health and Max Defense, Bold Nature. Now, it actually gets Poison Gas. So, with Poison Gas and Poison Puppeteer... You've got um, you got that ninety percent chance uh, to, to to land that on both uh, or each of them. So you've got that. So you've got poison both of them, and then you got poison puppeteer. So essentially, you're gonna get a poison and a confusion on both the opponent's Pokemon like straight away using that, which is pretty good. You know that might allow your partner Pokemon to set up or faint them or even cause a swap. Uh, another move that would work well, of course, is parting shot. I think that's gonna be a, definitely a good move on it for sure um, when you're running support. And things like that. And I've got Recover and Protect. So I know this is a very, very passive set. Um, so if, if you wanted another move on there as well, uh, I'd probably have Shadow Ball. Because we're sort of focusing on poisoning them already. Or you could also have Hex if you wanted uh, to as well. If you're worried about damage, another option could be Nightshade. Um, that at least is going to do fixed damage because then we're not running any special attacks and we're not going to be doing a lot. So that's sort of up to what you want to do. Or you could go Hex. That's another one too. So you get double base power. And yeah, that's uh, another way of running. So yeah, tell me if any of your other double sets. I, I think I'll probably be you know, pretty similar to this. Uh, this Terra, I didn't really do anything. Stella. Uh, I, I, I don't think it can really do too much with Stella. I'm just thinking that. No, nah, Stella's not going to be that great on it, I don't think. I'll have a look at it in a sec, but I don't think it's going to be all that good on it. Now, let's have a look here at... Um, a Pip Knight special. We have to. We, we normally have one, at least one of these in each uh, moveset guide. So this is a physical set. It's an absolutely horrendous set, which is exactly why I wanted to give it a shot. So with 88 in attack and 88 in speed, we've got max speed and max attack. We've got Jolly Nature. We've got to go fast. And we've got Wide Lens. Now, the reason I did Wide Lens is because all the moves I got are 90% accuracy. So we've got Gunk Shot being its main poison stab, Poltergeist. Um, 90% too, and we've got rollout. I noticed it got rollout, so I thought, oh, you could do this cool, like, defense kill rollout set and go, like, Terra Rock. That'd be, uh, that'd be interesting. You could, uh, give that one a go if you're playing some memes or whatever like that. So we got max, uh, max speed and max attack, uh, EVs, uh, for Perch right there on the, uh, physical, uh, wide lens set. So there you go. I uh, picked my special. Let's have a look now at some counters and some teammates and stuff. Um, for uh, Petron. So, I reckon... I'm just trying to think... Any, like... I'm thinking, like, any ground... Uh, any ground types, like Ursul... Uh, Ursul and the Blood Moon would have a pretty good field day versus this as for counter, because it's got a high special attack, and it could just hit it with stuff like Earth Power, and that's going to be very, very difficult for, um, you know, even your... Even like your special defensive set, that's still going to do a lot of damage. So I'd say Ursaluna is a, a pretty good counter there, uh, for sure. I'm just trying to think of some other good ones. We got any like... Let's have a look at Steel types. Like, I'm thinking Steel types would be a good counter. So we'll just type in Steel and have a little bit of a look. Oh, Excadrill. 
the extra drill is actually a very, very good counter because it's going to be like immune to those, uh, the, any of those poison type moves. And it's going to be able to hit really, really hard or with like earthquake and stuff like that. So that would be a good, um, like physical counter. Even though it's got like high defense, uh, extra will sort of like rip through that. So I would be, uh, definitely, uh, calling that a good counter. Um, thinking of some other ones, uh, we got gold dingo, but you might be able to finish it off with a, uh, a ghost type move there. Um, because we got that, I mean, it's got that ghost type. Dude, King Gambit. King Gambit is a top counter because King Gambit resists any poison stuff and all, you know, a ghost as well. So it's going to be, it's, it's going to be hard to get around King Gambit. I, I don't know what you could really do there. And I, I would not probably, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even probably stay in against the thing. I'd, I'd have to swap out unless you had something like, unless you're running something crazy like terror type fighting or fire or something like that to, to get around that. So there's some uh, definitely good uh, counters there if you were wanting to run that. So any other Pokemon, uh, especially when you've got, like, obviously this is more support style, right? Anything that have um, Intimidate. Let's have a look at any Intimidate Pokemon. That could work pretty well. I mean, Incineroar wasn't too bad. Uh, that, that wouldn't be a bad Pokemon. Oh, d speaking of counters as well, I was thinking Landorus would make a, uh, a pretty good encounter for sure. Like, uh, I just had it up there. Uh, Landorus, Landorus would be a, uh, actually it doesn't really matter, probably like, uh, either one of these would be, uh, difficult, probably, I, I would, I would probably say Landorus, uh, um, Landorus, uh, Incarnate would be, uh, a good one, because that could outspeed it, and it's special attack is going to be, like, sort of like a speedier version of, like, um, Ur Ur Ursa Luna Blood Moon, so that could be, that could be definitely good, those, um, counters there uh, well final mate's normally a pretty good counter for everything but it's it's definitely going to be good for this because like any like something like shadow ball is just going to absolutely destroy it you know being a ghost type which you know might force petrant to um uh to use uh terror there so you could always use that so you know flutter mate's another good counter for sure I'm just trying to think of some uh, some other ones I could use on a team. I mean, Fluttermane's also a good, like a reasonable teammate too. It can uh, take out some of those uh, threats. What grass? I'm just thinking like grass Pokemon wouldn't go too bad as well. Uh, Rillaboom wouldn't 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 be all that bad. Rillaboom wouldn't be a bad partner uh, like uh, as well because that can that can really uh, th uh, threaten like those the, any of the ground type Pokemon. It could it could uh, you know get rid of those. That'll be nice. And yeah, it also. You know, if it has any priority, that could work too with its um, its uh, grassy glide. So that would be good powering down those uh, ground type moves. So that's that's a good. I would say that would be a pretty good partner as well. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. How about how about Incineroar? I know they're both I know they're both weak to ground, but this could be a good partner with Intimidate and, and, and Fake Out as well. So that might be something. And then you got that Dark type to maybe try and get around those Ghost types too. So. Yeah, if you if you got any other uh, teammates, let me know. Let's have a look at um, let's have a look at some of its mo uh, moves and stuff like that because I like to look over all of its moves. So we'll have a look at its status moves. Okay, so it gets curse. I have to mention curse. Now I do not think that it gets body press though. It'd be wide of it. No, it doesn't get body press. Uh, if you want to go a curse set, you could. I'm thinking like this is a bit of a wild set. I'm just gonna make this up now. You could have something crazy like. I would build this like special defensive and you've got like uh, careful. So we've got careful nature. Okay. Uh, black sludge. We'll give it black sludge for now. So we've got curse and rest. I know we're using a physical set, but after a few curses, I think this would hit pretty hard. So we've got gunk shot as its main stab. And then you've got poltergeist as well. You could go for something interesting like that. That's a, this is definitely geared. This one's more geared towards single. So you could go the physical set with curse. Uh, that would be really, really interesting uh, to see how, uh, you know, bulky that would be on the defensive side and, and quite uh, annoying to get rid of that. Um, if you're not worried about status, you could just go recover. I would probably go recover over um, rest, but if you're worried about status, I guess you could, but you know, we've got a nice move and recover there. So we may as well use that. So, Another way of running uh, Petrarant. Let's have a look at some more uh, status moves here. Okay. Uh, we went over Nasty Plot Sweeper already, whether it's going to be a physical, uh, sorry, a, a speedy one or a Trick Room run. Uh, we're going to have Parting Shot. We're going to have Recover. It does have Rest Sleep Talk, but you're probably going to use Recover all the time. 
And it has, it has that pretty cool, like, uh, mean look. We went over that mean look set you could use as well. Just a pure Toxic Stoller. And we've got Poison Gas. We're talking about how that could be interesting for doubles, you know, getting that poison, getting that 100% confused. That could be something, uh, you know, really nice you could uh, try out. And looking at its special moves now. So this Pokemon is very, very barren on what moves it gets for, like, offensive moves. So, yeah, pretty much only gets Poison and Ghost. And then you've got... At least you got Terra Blast. Uh, Terra Blast would really, I'd really only put on like a offensive set, like you know, like this TR Sweeper. I wouldn't put it on. I wouldn't put Terra Blast on any other like just bulky set because I don't think it's gonna work. So yeah, we got Acid. Hmm, Acid Spray. That could be, that could be interesting. Like making a, a tanky set with Acid Spray. I'm thinking maybe for like raids that could be cool too. But yeah, that, that's what you use. Uh, we went over Nightshade. Nightshade's okay, just for a little bit of fixed damage there, but. I think you're probably you're probably better off going for like malignant chain or shadow ball or something unless you're getting you know you're getting a special defense drop or you might be able to do a little bit more of damage over time so yeah uh and then we went over it's physical didn't we that's just physical um fair play's probably worth mentioning maybe on maybe on this toxic stalling set if you didn't want to have uh parting shot you could have foul play on there so if someone tried to set up on you uh, you could go foul play and um, use the uh, attack stat in the damage calculation instead um, if they try and set up against you. So that's a, another way of uh, possibly doing it. I'm just trying to think there's anything else I need to add here. It's, it's quite a um, bulky Pokemon uh, for sure. Oh, another good um, another good partner would be Urshifu. Uh, Rapid Strike because you could threaten those ground types off quite easily. Uh, with its uh, any of its like water type like, surging strikes or something like that, you could definitely uh, threaten those uh, Pokemon away, um, and they work well too because this is also weak to Fairy, and then you know this can swap into Fairy because it's poison. So I would say Urshfu is a good partner too if you were thinking about using them together. Go for it. Um, what else we got here? Maybe, maybe even uh, I'm trying to think of what else we're weak to. So yeah, we like ghosts. Maybe like a normal Pokemon could be interesting. I'm just, I'm just sort of thinking on the spot here. How about Blissey? That's not... We could, you could go like a Blissey core. So you've got like a special defensive... Uh, like a bulky special defensive core. And then you've got like this. So that could make a disgusting like core. Like Blissey and Percheron. And then, you know, if someone tries to poison Blissey, you could swap into uh, Petrant. And then you'll be a poison type and won't get poison. So that could be a good, uh, a good way of using those two Pokemon uh, together. I think that's pretty much it here for Pertron. It is an interesting Pokemon. It's a nice toxic stolen Pokemon. It's got a little bit of a, um, a niche here of being a nasty plot as well. And it's not dead slow. So you might be able to use it as a sweeper if you like. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, you know, any Pokemon with recover and toxic and an amazing defense is that and you know, reasonable health and you know, other stats is going to go uh, pretty well on any team. Let me know if you've got any other movesets or, uh, you know, ideas you had put them below in the comment section and that's about it people i'll catch you next time peace out